shameful, unhealthy, unfair, objectifying, overrated, humiliation, unjust, crazy, inconsistent, discriminatory, restrictive, shame. All your shirts must be up to your collarbone, and all your pants must be down to your knees. Uh, your shoulders have to be covered, and your collarbone has to be covered. Um, you can't show your shoulders. Well, uh, collarbones are forbidden. You cannot see them, or else it is just completely immoral, and it's wrong. But it's pretty much knee-length skirts and shorts, and cover your shoulders and your collarbone. The school dress code was actually uh, created by the school's site-based decision-making council and it was done in the 04-05 school year and I started here in late July early August of 2005 and that was the first thing I got to do as the new head principal is to implement this new dress code so I wasn't even here to design it but I was here to implement it and um, my first meeting with my council was with our board attorney looking at the legalities and the the things that we could have in or couldn't have in that policy to implement it. So that was the, my first day on the job was dress coding Woodford County High School with a policy that I didn't even create. Well, it makes it, I think it makes it very stressful to find clothes because like when I go shopping for clothes, I kind of want to go and have a good time and pick out stuff that I like and not have to be worrying like, oh, this is really cute, but I can't wear it because it's not a dress code. So then it, I don't want it to really restrict me from what I buy, but that's what it does. Um, well, considering that most of the clothes for women are made by men, it's really low cut. So if you have like a dress code that makes you cover up your collarbone, it's extremely hard to find clothes that actually do that. When I had bought a crew neck shirt and it came right here and you can still see my collarbone and I, I was told that it was, um, it was pushing the line and I was like, it's a crew neck, it's not a v-neck, it's literally right at my collarbone and I almost got caught for dress code. Um, it makes it harder for me and like my parents, they have trouble finding things because they'll buy stuff for me and they think it's cute and I also think it's cute but then when I put it on it goes above my knee and I can't wear it or it shows my shoulder and so I'm like what am I gonna do? When I moved here I bought all new clothes because a lot of my clothes showed my collarbone and some of my shoulders and got my shorts here so yeah. Like when I have to dress up for lacrosse or band or something like that it's really hard to find dresses with modern fashion trends that fit those needs, that have sleeves and come to your knee and aren't cut too low. Um, I'm always at stores thinking, can I wear this at school or is it going to waste my money? And even if it's a respectable piece of clothing, I sometimes think that I can't buy it because it won't adhere to dress code. A lot of clothes, especially during the summertime, uh, don't have sleeves, so that's obviously an issue. Um, and a lot of styles just don't fit the dress code that are popular in this day and age. So you do have to look out for those things. And a lot of the things that I might think are cute or that I would buy, I can't because they don't fit in the dress code. So I can't buy a lot of things because I don't think they understand that not all body types are the same, and so. While it might be easier for one person to buy clothing that is in dress code, it's a lot harder for me to find clothing uh, that's still cute and stylish and doesn't look like an old lady. And so I'm narrowed down to like one or two shops and that's it. And they sell like the exact same things and so I have like five pairs of shirts that I can wear that are technically in dress code and like one pair of pants and it's crazy. Again, I, I've got a daughter who's 14 and we go try and she's kind of has long legs. Buying shorts for school is almost impossible. Um, so she'll probably be wearing jeans. I don't have any shorts that I particularly like that come to my knee 
so I can't wear shorts in the summertime. I have to just wear jeans to school. And, you know, it's kind of chilly inside the school, so that's okay, but as soon as you walk outside and it's 80 degrees, I mean, that's not cool. Because I usually, especially in the beginning of the summer when school just starts and they like crack down on it, I have to wear jeans every day and like it's hot it is really hot because I walk home from school too and I have to wear like sticky jeans and then I'll, sometimes I wear long sleeve shirts because I just want to make sure you know I can't wear something that's showing a little bit of shoulder so it is very uncomfortable I mean it gets sweaty and like you want to change and like whenever I get off the bus and go home it will end up where I'm having to go upstairs and change and put on a pair of shorts. I've been caught twice. There was one time where I was um, wearing a v-neck shirt and it was it was a button-up shirt and I had the top button buttoned like it says in the dress code and it was this tiny little v-neck right here and it was covering my collarbone completely and I was told to go down to the office and put a crew neck shirt underneath of it and when I did so you could barely see it. And then the second time I was wearing a um, I was wearing a shirt and you could see my shoulder through it just a little bit and I was told to go put on another shirt. Yes, I have been caught before. Um, uh, it's usually when I wear leggings and I have been yelled at by certain authorities and been told to change. I had a dress because we had a dress up for softball one day and it came like not even an inch and a half above my knee and they sent me to the office but it wasn't fair because there was another girl wearing the exact same dress but a different color and she didn't get sent down to the office and I just that just proves that it's not fair yes I watched a girl get dragged down the hallway once for wearing a dress that came a little above her knees no not by the <laughs> the woman from the library ran up to her and grabbed her by the arm and took her to the office I've always been pretty careful about it, so I've only been caught once, and it was actually in this shirt I'm wearing for my collarbone. And I had worn this shirt throughout the entire year of my freshman year, and nobody had ever said anything, but then it was actually the last month of school, and um, a teacher sent me down to the office for it, and luckily I had a t-shirt in my band room locker, and I had to change out of it. Um, there was another time, I didn't get sent to the office, but I was told not to wear it again. I, uh, my boyfriend wore, he wore a pair of his soccer shorts to school, and you know, soccer shorts come above your knee. And it was completely fine for him, but I wore the exact same pair, he gave them to me, I wore the exact same pair, and they told me not to wear it again, because they could see my knees, and it was like a warning. Um, I've been caught for dress code once, and it was not fun. I It was in third period, so it was already most of the way through the day, and it was for a skirt that was mid-thigh, which this was last year, so I thought that was a rule that was allowed, mid-thigh skirts, and so I got called out of my third period and I missed almost the whole period. I got called out in the first 10 minutes and I came back in the last 10 minutes. I have been caught for dress code once, but I've been sent down to the office twice and they were both for days that I had to dress up for a sport. And the first time it was with a teacher who normally sends people down and sends them down quite frequently. And the office has just learned to just send them back up if they have come from that class. But the other time I got caught, I was walking past the library in the morning on my way to class. And it was for a dress that was just like a little bit above my knees. And I'd worn it before too. So getting caught for it was really inconsistent. Uh, yeah, I was caught last year. Uh, I made one of my teachers mad, so he decided to get me back. The next day I came in and I had like this v-neck that I wore all the time. It was like our soccer warm up that, you know, had been approved for school. We wear it on days when we had games. And uh, he, he was like, you didn't go to the office. And it was not so much embarrassing as it was just like, I was really angry because like everybody knew he was just doing it to get back. And 
uh, I called my dad and of course he works in Frankfurt, my mom works in Nicholasville, so it wasn't like either of them were even home to bring me stuff. So I went to like Ames, like in school suspension for the rest of the day because I just, they, you know, if I can't change, then it's too distracting for the boys, so I have to be elsewhere. I would say the biggest thing is we're trying to teach students how to dress for success and understanding that when you're at school, which is a portion of your day, there's an, there's an expectation for appropriate dress. We don't say how you have to dress for dances, we don't say for games, those kinds of things. We want that to coincide with when you're preparing instructionally, we want your, your mind right and we want you dressed right for kind of game, game day ready. So I guess that would be the biggie. It made me feel embarrassed and kind of like ashamed that I'm wearing pants that I find comfortable and basically, I, I don't know, it's just, it's embarrassing when they're kind of like yelling at you and telling you what you're wearing is wrong. Um, being called out is actually really embarrassing because everybody knows why you're called out there and then you have to walk in front of the class and walk back in front of the class and with a different shirt on and they're like, well, we know what you've been doing and they judge you. Well, it really embarrassed me. Um, I get really embarrassed easily and so I was, you know, my face went red and all eyes were on me and so that's kind of embarrassing and it's like I was ashamed for just picking out what I wore, trying to look cute. I was ashamed for trying to look nice for once. It felt pretty silly to me, and I probably earlier in the year would have been more upset about it, but I mean, it really just felt like a waste of my time because we were actually doing an experiment that day in the classroom. It made me feel embarrassed and um, pretty much violated in front of my peers, like to be called out and to miss time from my education that was actually an important class to um, go fix my jeans and call my mom out of work to bring me new jeans which weren't even that like they did not show much of my leg whatsoever and it was embarrassing. I didn't really feel shame or anything because I know that most of us have gotten caught too and it's just something we've all gotten used to like getting caught and getting sent down to the office. I mean, it was embarrassing because it was something that shouldn't matter and none of my classmates noticed it. My teachers all day hadn't noticed it and one person happened to think it was inappropriate so I had to miss all of class that day. I just think that it's really unfair that we miss class time for a dress that we've worn before and has been considered appropriate by half of our teachers. But one person can call it inappropriate and make us miss class. Okay, I think that there is a dress code because there's a small group of people that would take advantage of the freedom of clothing choice and but I definitely do not think that it is fair to punish every girl for the small group of girls. Um, to give everybody a good learning environment but honestly it distracts from it if you're worried about hey am I going to get caught for dress code today because I couldn't find a shirt that I could wear that wasn't dress code? Am I going to get caught for dress code today, not what's the lesson on today? I find that I could learn better if I was in clothes that I was comfortable in, not clothes that I have to be wearing. Because there are some girls who push it to the extreme and want to show every bit of their body because they want people to notice them because they might not be noticed in other ways. So they feel like the only way they can is being sexual about it. So I understand why there is a dress code. I think that some people take things too far and that to prevent that the school has issued a dress code that they think will help with that. But if people are going to break dress code, they're going to break dress code. They're just going to get caught for it. Um, well, I'm just going to say it in my own opinion. Some people don't agree with this, but I think it's because girls are considered sexual objects, so they feel like girls have to cover up everything or else guys are just gonna go wild because I'm exposing this or something like that. So uh, basically I think that's what I give them. Well I think that like a lot of rules that schools have 
one person ruined it for everyone. Somebody was wearing an inappropriate shirt or skirt and so the school system based their whole rule around it. Well, because the teachers felt like they needed it, um, my understanding, now I wasn't here to observe it, but my understanding was that the standard of dress had gotten so out of, um, out of whack, so to speak, that the teachers felt it was a distraction. Um, I worked at another school where there was no dress code, and one of the things I dealt with as an assistant principal who was in charge of discipline, the assistant principals do most of the discipline usually, is we had a lot of sexual harassment um, based on what kids were wearing. And unfortunately, it always comes back to what the girls are wearing. Um, it's not fair, but it, it's a reality that girls would wear certain things that may have been revealing or um, may, and it sounds like they're, by wearing it, they're asking for it, which isn't what I want to convey, but certain outfits that they wore um, created a situation where guys would make inappropriate statements. Sorry about that. Um, and there, there was a distraction to the learning environment um, based on what some of the folks were wearing at school. I honestly, I don't think it's fair, and I think only certain teachers enforce it because lots of teachers don't agree with it, so they don't enforce it as much. No, I do not think the dress code is fair or consistently enforced. Uh, lots of times teachers won't uh, send students down for dress code issues just because they understand that you know, it's harder for us to find clothes that are in dress code or they think it's a little crazy, but then Sometimes people who are really out of dress code, like severely out of dress code, the principals never catch them, the teachers never catch them, but then when someone else is wearing like a centimeter above the knee, they get caught. Not at all. It is not consistently enforced. I've seen people walk around with leggings on and they'll walk right past the principals or talk to them or to a teacher that's known for catching dress code and they'll be scotch-free and then another person will walk by and they'll have like maybe a little v-neck and they'll be caught i mean it varies it varies day to day of who gets caught for what and why and it's basically because people aren't enforcing it consistently the idea when it was written was to create an equal standard of dress that being said dudes are pretty easy to dress so for guys, the guy stuff is usually a little edgier on alcohol and drug references or the sexual references. So there, the guy side is narrower than it is for the girl side. Uh, females usually have a lot more options with the fashion that they have access to. And with that then, if you're wearing anything trendy, um, then it does become an issue. And there's no doubt the dress code has more constraints for girls than it does for guys. I do think the dress code is sexist, not only towards girls and that it tells them what they should and shouldn't dress as, but towards boys as well because it says that they can't control themselves. I think the dress code is sexist because really it only applies towards girls and I know it doesn't necessarily say that like within the written dress code, but honestly if you're walking in the hallway teachers and principals are going to be looking to find girls who are out of dress code. They're not going to be looking at guys, whether a guy is wearing a v-neck or his shorts are too short. They don't look for that. They just look for what girls are wearing, especially leggings. I think the dress code is very sexist. While girls get called out all the time on their shorts, skirts, or dresses, and especially their shirts, um, boys hardly ever get called out whatsoever. That I've seen several cases of chubbies which are um, around thigh high or even higher shorts for guys um, and they were not called out or if they were they actually didn't get in trouble for it because the office said that they were okay. Like I've seen I've seen guys with like v-necks on that goes down to like the middle of their chest and it's like I'm sorry I can see your collarbones but you're not allowed to see mine it is sexist. There's no doubt about it. Um, guys, 
they can wear shorts above their knee. I mean, most guys typically don't, but when they do, they don't get caught. Uh, there are guys who wear tank tops around school and no one says anything. And like when anybody says, hey, why hasn't he got caught for dress code? They're like, oh, you know, he's a senior, he can do that. Or he's a guy, they don't really care. I think that the dress code is mainly directed towards girls. And this makes me feel like we aren't allowed to express ourselves the way we want to. We have to wear things that you tell us to, and a lot of my favorite clothing items aren't in the dress code, and so it's not fair to me to not be able to wear them. I think that it's sexualizing women because I don't think that my thighs or collarbone or chest area or even my upper arm should be area, considered areas of arousal, and they are when they're being required to be covered up. It really knocks down a girl's self-esteem because she can't look nice. If a girl can't look nice, and it just, like, we wake up every morning as, you know, all girls wake up, and we're like, okay, I want to try to look nice for once. And they'll try, but when they look in there, they're like, oh no, my knees are showing, my collarbones are showing, you can see part of my shoulder. They get paranoid because they can't be in dress code, and they're like, well, I don't have any other options, so I guess I'll just look like a slob again. I think that the dress code is somewhat telling girls that they need to cover up their bodies and this is very unreasonable in my opinion because outside of school where you still see your peers you can wear anything you want and it's not a problem there. So why should it be a problem inside of school? Um, it sends a, the dress code sends a message that you're not supposed to be comfortable with what you're wearing and that everybody's going to judge you no matter what you wear. The dress code sends to young girls that you have to cover up. Like, it's not okay for you to be a woman who's maturing. Uh, and if you don't cover it up, you know, you might get raped or you might distract the boys and that's not okay. The slut shaming or basically just telling girls that how you dress represents how you think of yourself and what respect you have for yourself. It suggests to girls how you need to cover up and that it sort of makes the girls feel like their body is, um, is like it's bad and that like they shouldn't embrace themselves. And so I feel like that's bad because, I mean, you should be able to like yourself. Then we tried leggings would keep your rear ends covered. So then what that meant is let's wear our leggings, but we're going to tie our t-shirt all the way up to the top because we don't want to cover our, our undersides there. And unfortunately, um, not all people are built equally and not all clothing styles are appropriate for all people. And so then you have to make something that we say, well, it can't be okay for you because it looks cute on you for someone else who might wear it and it, then it's really inappropriate if you follow me. Um, I think it could send the message that girls, they, like, I think it can make them feel ashamed of their body, and I think it can make lots of people feel uncomfortable in their body, too, so I don't, I don't think it really sends a positive message. It tells us that we need to cover ourselves up and conform to what other people think is appropriate. It sends that... You cannot, it's hard to feel comfortable in what you wear if it's being controlled. You know, like, if you want, the dress code, like, it tells you, you know, you, you can't wear those shorts because guys might get distracted. Or, you can't wear that shirt because we can see your collarbones, and collarbones are so very distracting. When, on the weekends, whenever we go outside, all that goes through my mind is, am I dress code? And it shouldn't be that way because I'm not at school. And even if I was at school, I shouldn't have to constantly worry about what I'm wearing and if it's okay and if I'm not distracting and if I just like lie low. And I don't think that's fair and I shouldn't have to do that. But trying to get students college and career ready, part of it is learning effective presentation skills, job skills, and, and readiness skills. And some of that is 
understanding how to meet standards. I mean, college doesn't have a dress code, so it's not really preparing us for college. I mean, most, I have a college student living in my house right now, and she literally wears sweatpants to school every day. I mean, she's so focused on what she's learning and not what she's wearing, and nobody judges her for it, so why can't it be the same here? It makes me feel like I can't be a girl, really. It makes me feel upset and angry, kind of, because it's just like implying that girl, girls are sexual objects, and I don't feel like that's the right thing that this school should be showing us. I feel really crappy about myself because of this dress code. It's constant negative thoughts because I don't want to be distracting to the boys and I don't want to be distracting to the principals and it's just I can never breathe and just be myself and not have to worry about what other people are thinking. Because I do think it's important at a school that we try to create the conditions where students are not going to be subject to harassment. And I think sometimes if you standardize the dress, not, not making it a dress code, but standardizing the, the criteria for what's in, what, what is appropriate, I think helps to reduce some of those issues. It sends the message to boys that it's all girls' fault, basically. Any reaction that, um, or any action that they um, do is the girls' fault. It wasn't their fault that they were staring or got distracted. It was the girls' fault. Well, I think it basically kind of puts the guys before the girls because they say how they want guys to have a distraction-free learning zone, not girls. So they're like putting the guys before the girls and saying that their education is more important than the girls' education, which I don't find true in any way. It says that they can't control themselves, and honestly, if I was a boy, I'd be really insulted by the dress code. It sends a message that guys are perverts. Because girls have to cover themselves up because the administration believes that the boys can't control themselves. So I had a teacher, and we were going on a trip outside of school. We were going uh, to an amusement park, and you know, you go to amusement parks and it's hot, and you know, it was a, we were expecting it to be hot. And he calls us all over before the trip, and you know, I assumed it was because he was making sure everybody had turned in their permission slips and money because we were leaving the next morning. And he sits us all down, and he starts saying that the next morning he doesn't want to see girls showing up with the v-necks and the, and like shirts with holes in it, or any shorts that don't cover your knees up. And you know, that was one thing, and it kind of made people upset. But then he continued to say that, now, now listen, let me, let, me, uh, let me explain what I'm trying to say. Boys are hardwired for sex at this age. I know that you girls don't understand. You don't understand what it's like, but there's all these hormones that just hit you, and they don't know what's going on, and, you know, anything can set them off. And they see, you know, most of your legs down towards your chest, and, you know, it can get them going, and boys can't help what they do. When these hormones get going, they date rape happens. I know that you guys think it's a joke or that it doesn't happen to people, really, but it does. And when you dress like that, it's just going to happen, and they can't control it. And I was like, and all the girls just kind of looked at each other, and we were wondering if he was actually serious, if he actually thought this. And it just sort of told all the girls that even though it was going to be hot or whatever, or that it wasn't even at school, it was on a Saturday, that we couldn't even wear that then because boys can't help it. It's teaching young boys that they're predators and, you know, like, they automatically have to like girls and that they have to have these horrible thoughts like, oh yeah, the girls are covering up for me. And it's not like that. And it's just sad that they're training these boys' minds like this. When it first came out, everybody had to have like a Hanes t-shirt on, a real um, crew neck. The reason the crew neck was in was because it was objective and it was measurable. Uh, and now, I know a lot of people believe it's three fingers from the collarbone or a dollar bill from the knee or something along those lines. Well, we're not going to go around and measure people's collarbones and knees. 
So what the attorney said was it has to be objective and it has to be measurable. And so they said if everyone's wearing a crew neck, regardless of what they have over top of it, everyone will be in um, a standard amount of coverage. And um, the, uh, the policy really when you think about it is a chest, midriff, and rear end policy. The idea is that if you have those areas covered, then you're in pretty good shape for school. So then we tried to work with, let's go mid-thigh length. And that, that really was taking us out of our comfort zone as well because the same skirt on a girl who's 5'2", on a girl who is 5'8", may hit completely different places on their body, even though it's the same exact garment. So we've tried to make some adjustments while leaving the code as it's written so that we have something to fall back on um, with that. Again, I'm open to, uh, I mean, it's been 10 years since it's, come, since it's been in place. I'm always open to looking at it, but I think for the, the sake of fairness and consistency, it still has to be measurable and objective. I think amending the dress code would probably be the best idea because doing away with it, like I said, would be um, giving freedom to a small population of people that would take advantage of it. I think we should do away with the entire thing because if women are given the freedom to wear what they want then they won't feel the need to be rebellious and go too far with that. I think that they'll feel like they have some responsibility and they'll dress how they want to fit with their culture, not in a way that's necessarily scandalous or whatever, just out of our current dress code. I think it would help a lot because it would take stress off people for when they go shopping and parents too because I know my mom before I go to school she's always asking um, can you wear that to school and so I think it would take stress off them too. I think we need to amend the dress code. Uh, I think it's very strict right now uh, and I think it's very obvious when someone is breaking dress code. Honestly just no boobs, butts, or bellies because that's really easy to enforce and it's honestly easy to tell too. It should be mid-thigh, like credit card or no cleavage. I think spaghetti straps and tank tops, I think those are fine to wear because, I mean, honestly, it's just a shoulder, guys. Come on now. <laughs> if you just want to be comfortable and wear leggings one day, that should not be a problem. Um, and I think you should be able to show your shoulders, like wear a tank top or something. You know, if we're going to be treated like adults and we're taking college classes and, you know, driving, then we should have a little bit more of an expectation for being mature enough to decide on what we wear and what is respectable for ourselves rather than by the hand of somebody else.